Okay, so I'm going to talk about Gaussian randomness and uh, uh, basically Gaussian randomness uh, is non-uniform so if you have a center of it and then it's uh, it's more of a bell curve instead of uh, uniform across the line and so you can control how uh, how widely spaced the bell curve is or how ner narrowly and you can you know define a cent define a center of it and so I'll just show you how to do make make a Python component um, a Gaussian type Python component we'll name it Gauss and we will we don't need Walker we're not doing this in terms of the Walker uh, let's switch over and have just a list list and list and we don't need that anymore and for T in range we're gonna have a count instead so the count is basically how many um, uh, how many points we want from the Gaussian uh, uh, function so how many Gaussian points we want so you can see that the help brings up itself mu sigma mu is the mean and uh, sigma is the standard deviation so let's do uh, the mean and SD for standard deviation and we're gonna make a variable rand and then we're gonna pass a rand uh, we're gonna it's basically the same format of empty list fill the list pass the list out and we're filling it with rand this time and uh, the R Gauss, the R refers to, uh, back up to the this uh, is random that we um, imported and seeded. And so now we just need uh, variables for the mean and standard deviation. So let's create those real quick. Mean. SD for standard deviation and we're going to give a type hint of a float and do the same for standard deviation and so instead of time we had count so if we want let's scale this back let's get around 200 points um, the mean is going to be we're going to have it focused around zero and the standard deviation we can have it around 30 right now and so let's well to make a point out of it we're just getting um, this is just one dimensional so it's just returning floats you know, uh, around 200 floats and if we pass it into X we can kinda see not really it's not really quite so evident that it's not uniform um, but if we do this we can show more clearly that it is not uniform. If we throw some into the Y and throw some into the Z and uh, the reason we're getting a straight line here is because they're all working off the same seed so if we change our seeds we can you know get oh, oh, why is so oh, I've got this seed here yeah, so you can see that it's more clustered. You know, you're getting randomness, but you're getting more randomness near, or you're getting more points near the center. And uh, if you want to stretch, you know, so basically that's that's the basics of 
Gauss. So you have a center, and then you have um, uh, the standard deviation, and the standard deviation controls how how much it is around the center, or how you know just just that this kind of. Uh, basically, lower standard deviation. That means you have more with more points within that, like 11. So it goes over to 11, and or uh, okay. So here we have the X and we've got an X at 30 so within the range of 30 plus 30 and minus 30 um, like 70 percent of the points are within that so if you go down now 70 70 percent of the points or roughly 70 percent of the points are between uh, 9 and negative 9 in the, the X value We've got the X right there. And so you can see how this would be useful for making, uh, I think, more interesting randomness instead of just using uh, just using the population third. 3D and we can use Gaussian in a lot of a lot of places, and you know you could. Uh, this the mean is always at zero, but you could you know throw a point on there and decompose it, and you know have the the Gaussian around that, or you could have two points, and so you'd have two clusters, two places where it clusters around the center. And like over there and over there, and then make a Voronoi out of that. And that would be more interesting because you'd have two sharp clusters instead of just the evenness of population 3D. is all just bounding box. So you can and of course uh, this population has less points than uh, our 200 but you can see the difference really clearly how uh, this is even and then oops and this is clustered so now there's kind of a basic basic gauss component that we can use for a variety of different applications